Well, we've seen a lot of talk right now. It uh, looks like we have a pretty, could be a potentially pretty active night as far as the Aurora, uh, which unfortunately we might have a chance to see it here, but not looking very promising as far as the clouds here in Colorado, right? <laughs> right, the clouds. Yeah, the activity's already begun, actually, Steve. Uh, we just got hit with a shock arrival from the coronal mass ejection, so it's a little faster than anticipated, at least one of the many CMEs that are coming through space right now. And just to give an idea of what that means for people, it arrived in the way that's favorable. So anybody who's in the dark side of planet Earth right now is certain that at the right latitudes are seeing the aurora as we speak, uh, because the magnetic field strength that we look for has already gone up uh, looks like now it's uh, over 10 times its normal background strength, and it's favorable, meaning it's opposite Earth, which means we connect. I know tonight it's looking like it's cloudy. Is it just tonight, or are we looking at the next couple of nights, uh, the possibility of seeing that? We're looking through the weekend. So we have uh, multiple CMEs that have left the sun. I think we're up to seven at this point, if I remember right. Uh, the fastest one just arrived, or the lead CME. Others are combining with other uh, we call these coronal mass ejections, these uh, departures from the sun of strong magnetic fields and, and energetic particles. And that's arrived here at Earth already, but they're going to continue to arrive or progress and move over Earth pretty much off and on throughout the weekend. We can still cross our fingers here uh, with the, the inclement weather in Colorado that we, you know, if, if we're in one of those areas away from the city lights, uh, we might be able to catch them, right? Now. That's correct, Steve. If we're in the cloud-free night, the moon is cooperating. It's not brightening up the sky. Uh, the best time to look for this would be in the kind of a latter part of the evening, late evening into the early overnight hours, meaning after midnight as well. Uh, that's the prime time for us to be uh, in the southernmost extent at that time of wherever the auroral oval is uh, materializing. And by the aurora, I mean the northern lights.